Hi, I'm Megan Bushhausen, and you're watching Notes from the Dev Video Edition. Hi, welcome to today's episode of Notes from the Dev. I'm Megan, and with me today is Shannon Crable, Senior Email Developer from United Healthcare. Today, Shannon is going to blow our minds. It's going to be so awesome. And she's going to talk to us about how she saves precious, precious email developing time by using Emmett and Dreamweaver shortcuts. I'm so excited for this. Shortcuts are awesome. So Shannon, why don't we queue up the screen and why don't you show us some awesome, awesome Emmett things? Sure. So if you don't have the snippets panel in your Dreamweaver window already, you can get there by navigating to window and then at the very bottom of the snippets and your little panel should pop up or there's a shortcut for it, which I believe is shift F9 to get that panel open and close. For those who don't know, Emmet is essentially like shorthand for writing code, um, similar how you might write shorthand for CSS, you can use it for other um, other types of code. I use it mostly for HTML since that's what emails are built off of. And what I love is that, and I didn't re realize this until recently, it's pretty much baked into Dreamweaver. So um, I'll just start with some examples of how Emmet works is a lot of it is typing and then hitting tab and then it'll expand to create a whole HTML tag. So a quick example is a P tag. I just hit P and then tab and then I have my whole tag ready to go. It's pretty cool. Um, it even does things like you can get a whole HTML5 document exclamation mark tab, look at all that, all that code already started just for you. Pretty neat. Um, and it can get more complex, which I, I thought, I think this is where the fun part is, and I use this quite often, is you can do a, a asterisk or a star for multiplying a tag. So instead of one P tag, I could do three, so it's P, little multiplication sign, and three, and then tab, and I have three paragraph tags pretty neat. Um, I use that a lot for if I'm doing like a lot of disclosures or disclaimers and I just need a bunch of paragraph tags, just start them off like that and then fill them in. We could also use Emmet to fill in, create the HTML element and then fill it in with the content and you would do that with the curly braces. So as a quick example, let's do H2 tag with a title and then tab and there we go. And That's so cool. It is really cool and it gets even better. So you can do the same thing with a tribute. Okay. So let's do an image tag, square brackets. Let's go with alt text. Hi, mom. Tab out. There we go. And you can just chain that for multiple attributes. Um, that's pretty, pretty neat. And to keep going, blow your mind a little bit more is you can do child elements all in one go as opposed to doing them individually. So with this example here, I would want, um, this is creating an unordered list and then three list items within that list. So it'll be OL, greater than symbol, LI, the list items, and then just do three of them just because, and then tab, so there we go. Um, and then similar thing for sibling elements. So elements that are um, next to each other, but not nested within each other, little plus sign in there. This one's a little bit complex. So let's do H2, E, and then ET, and I want an unordered list and then list item and then three of those. I think that matches what I previewed. So got like most of an email already done right right here. And keep going a little bit more is you could also add your classes and your IDs um, by just appending your HTML element tag, a dot for your classes, a pound sign for your IDs, and I guess you could do multiples too. And then there you go. So uh, let's do really quick. Show you all. Oops. Cool. Very cool. Um, and then since this is emails, uh, just know you can do a table really quickly. Table that starts it off. It's, well, actually, that's wrong. That doesn't work. Table is one of the tags where it's table plus, and that gives you the whole table itself. Um, to add to that a little bit, we usually add a lot of attributes to our table tags. So I've got role presentation, cell padding, self spacing, border zero add a couple rows, add a couple cells, and this will create a very nice, pretty much starter email right there. And of course I can fill stuff in as needed, but um, you're sort of seeing where like you could shave like little bits of time off of creating like simple elements then adding to it as, as needed. 
So um, I use this for, I use Emmett a lot just for creating like this basic element, like I said, paragraph tags with items, that sort of thing. But where um, sort of to expand on that, I also learned that Dreamweaver has snippets and this sounds obvious, but it's been, I've been using Dreamweaver forever and did not realize they have snippets. So snippets are just chunks of code or HTML or even text that you can save and then reference um, whenever you need it. So I use snippets for things like brand colors or like link filing or you know, like whole buttons. And then I can add, um, add to that as I go. If you don't have snippet panel handy, it's just windows and then snippets down here at the bottom. A lot of pre-filled ones you may not necessarily need, but they might be handy. Um, and you can also create your own. I'll do that in a second. Um, actually, let's do that right now. So as an example, so we know that um, I do P, that's how it works with Emmet. I wanted to create my own version. I could do P and let's add some style. Color red and then actually description. Closing and ending tags and there we go. So if I wanted to have some, some text, And highlight it. I can select it for my panel here, P tag, and I've got my styling done. It's also pretty neat. Um, for paragraph tags, I might have specific styling that I want to reference and I have to type over and over again, and snippets are good for that. And then to go a level further, you can assign trigger keys to your snippets, sort of like the snippets we had for Emmet. So using this one as an example again, I can assign a trigger key. Key. So it would be whatever that key is, or it can be more than one character, and then tab, and it'll expand to whatever code I've I've done. And for some reason, it likes to write overwrite my my stuff. But I want a before and after, and I'll just do I'll just do para just so I can know it's a paragraph tag. And with my custom styling para tab, there we go. Um, so that's a really tiny example, but I've used different things like styling for superscript tags, styling for um, links, um, that sort of thing, or anything special that you just want to have to type over and over again. And um, I can't think of what else to share. Oh, I pulled this example from one of the recent notes from the dev emails where you had um, code snippets and then some style code for it. So knowing what we know about Emmet, if I did just pre, it would expand to this. Um, I could also type all of this out and then hit tab and it would create the styling that I want. But it's a really good idea to do something like this and put it in a um, put it in a snippet so that I can reuse it. And a note I want to have about snippets is that for the trigger keys, they have to be unique and they can actually overwrite um, anything like the image tag. So like I talked about previously, doing pre and then tab would come would do this. But if I created a snippet that did that, so it pre pre wrap selection. Okay. And now my pre tag should expand to do something like this that I just created. So it's pretty handy. Um, and I think that's the, the the bulk of it, um, I have some bonuses that you all might find pretty cool along the same lines is I did learn that you can just do shift uh, forward slash and it'll start a comment tag. So that's nifty if you're just writing comments in your code. You could also do lorem ipsum right in here. There's a paragraph or so. You could also do lorem ipsum with a set number of words. So lorem 13 will give me 13 random words, which I think is pretty helpful um, for filling in all those cool tags you just created using your init extensions and your snippets. I think that's all I have for today. This is so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> My mind is like blown by the curly brackets and like the straight yes. brackets. That's a part of Emmett yes. I never knew. And now I'm going to yes. play around with it and it's going to make development just that much quicker, which is yes. really awesome. Um, and another thing I noticed is that, you know, Emmett is essentially a plugin. So it's available in a lot of different HTML editors. So if you're not using yes. Dreamweaver, definitely still try it out in your editor. Um, and those shortcuts that you showed us are also available generally in other editors. So this just, you know, works outside of Dreamweaver too, which I think is really awesome that we can take this and then like bring it into our own editors, you know, that we may use. Um, exactly. So yeah, so this was 
really, really amazing. I love learning about Emmett. Um, it's just so cool to me. Uh, I have nothing else to say besides that, except it's cool. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> audience, that's what we have for you today. Um, thank you so much for watching this episode and I hope you come back for more. Uh, Shannon, where can we find you online? You can probably best find me on Twitter at Shannon underscore Crable on Twitter.com. Awesome. Well, thank you again for coming on and we will see everyone next time. Awesome. Thanks for having Bye. me. Bye.